Okay, everyone, I think we'll get started. If there's anything that uh, you need, please feel free to message me in the chat. I'll be monitoring the chat. Uh, please be patient. Today is our first attempt at uh, Zoom COVID-19 presser. Uh, my name is Seema Sahar Zerahi. I'm Premier Afia uh, Press Secretary. Uh, today is February 15th. And I ask for, uh, just so we can make it through this uh, this uh, press conference with as little glitches as possible in our internet, that uh, if you could kindly have your video off unless you're speaking, and if you could kindly be on mute unless you're speaking, uh, that would help us all. And then uh, because of our limited uh, internet capacity, we're gonna stick to a one hour video conference today. So it will be from now until noon. Today, we will, Uli, maybe we'll start with that and then I'll add the other uh, components. Okay. Ulukun, Ulumi, February is 15, a jungle, the Kutaku Chala, and the Tulumi, people are younger than the Motusa kids figure out the Luda, the Mata, to Sasa Hotel, you got to near Tarluda. You can't have a cool hotel saying you can make up between the Mulumi, to Sasa, you Thank you. Um, so today we'll have a short statement from the Premier followed by another short statement from Minister Ahiakuk, followed by a statement by the Chief Public Health Officer. And then we'll open for uh, questions and answers. Minister Main is available for Q&A. Okay. Uh, Anna Hamlin to the Rim Maria Kalimasi Taku, a Malo Minister May, and I do know me at the Sokogma, but at the Sitakwe. We are not missing, I'm Uri Matako, we are not me, Tabuna Harasayako, Tana to Shaman, to Shamatin of Pima Duangman, Udang, you can see Gunata, Uberna. Uta Kupia Paka, Nunavumute, Pidong Watome, Inakulupu Nalatum, Tasumingam. Udango Yok Nalone, Nasibu, three hundred fifty two, Takua, Nuvan Nuduale, Nunavu Iduane, Takua, sixteen, Uluk Nunalin, Atokasim Major, Mana, Yimana Avitosimagon, Atausa, Iperjumito, eighteen, Apriane, Amanitua, fifteen, Halututia. Zero Idil Regatu, uh, nine Sadlil, thirty nine Idil Ring, one hundred thirteen Ekhalmi, zero Joahi. And nine Panutum, zero Altua, forty five Kangathena, eleven Auswitu. 13, Sanaraya, 12, Sanikidua, 25, Talobjua, and my zero, uh, Tikirabjuan. I would bring you 154, and you have no one of the other. Katiti with Aqua, 1,237, one of them. You have no February 10, one of the Jigo, Pivadia Yorodiko, Department of Economic Development and Transportation. Takwa kawi sakto ko tigi kung nato nuban nuto at ang kalawang mga ta sunyo pa yung dalto namin na kapto nuto halun na takwa tao kawi sakto ko tigi kung nato nuban nuto at ang kalawang mga pinmario yun nunalin ni takwa pinasuwa ko siyul at tumit yung nasiyu tiyaw pa diyal dalto nunalin ni matiano takwa tuwa ng siman yato kawi sakto ko tigi yun nuban nuto at ang kalawang mga pe utu tigi yung kaya Aqua uh, taxis, or new build vein, or aqua sanahat tatum, tuavil natumun, aqua nukitab vein, aqua timisum nukin, outlooks in what tatum, a mataqua mitab vein, aqua pilwangwa and outlooking, nasir to view simayum, nasir to view what malot vinida, pinasuwa was your lot to men. Takwa dalam pinasuwa kasi agak padriyam 
First off, I just want to say thank you for uh, the understanding for us to mobilize uh, through through this technology to continue with the, the, the presser uh, to allow us to communicate very important information as well as to be able to answer any questions uh, the members uh, will have. And with that, I, I want to especially say my special greetings to the many elders that will be listening and watching uh, to this update. As of this morning, Nunavut has 352 positive cases of COVID-19. Of those, we have active cases in 16 communities. Numbers are as follows. One in Arctic Bay, 18 in Nakvian, 12 in Baker Lake, 15 in Cambridge Bay, zero in Chesterfield and then Harbor, 39 in the Iglulik, 100, zero in Joe Haven, zero. Two in Naoyan, nine in Panukto, zero in Pondinland, zero in Klikapaltuang, 45 in Rankin and then 11 in Resolute Bay, 13 in Sanarayek, 12 in Sanakiluang, 25 in Talotuak, and zero in Whale Cove. Have 154 reported recoveries uh, today. There has been 1,237 total recoveries in this outbreak. As of February 10, the Department of Economic Development and Transportation started distributing rapid access tests to critical businesses services in Nikhalwin. Distribution of rapid access tests for critical business workers in all other Nunavut communities started over the weekend and will continue this week. The critical business services that will be receiving the rapid access tests include the taxis, food retail workers, emergency home repair service workers, meat and fish processors, cargo operators, as well as airport maintainers. Coming weeks, as we receive more rapid access tests from the Government of Canada, we will expand distribution to all businesses that want them. I would like to remind Nunavut of the available COVID-19 resources that we have made available. If you have developed symptoms such as a runny nose, cough, sore throat, fever, or are having any difficulty breathing, please call 
hotline at 1-888-975-8601. If you are isolating because of COVID-19, you could call 1-888-902-0872 or email isolation supports at gob.nu.ca to access the government of Nunavut's isolation grocery hamper. And for those who with travel related questions, please call the government of, um, of Nunavut's toll free travel line at 1 524 0735. Once again, I am uh, wanting to ensure Nunavut uh, to encourage them to please get vaccinated and to get your booster shot when available. The best way to protect our children, our elders, and vulnerable members of our community is through vaccinations. As always, continue to adhere to the health measures, uh, stay home when possible, stick to your small bubbles, and continue to wear a mask. And with that, I'll pass the floor over to Minister Akhiyahu, who will provide a, a short comment. Minister Akhiyahu, will you know? Uh, to the Minister, can you turn on your camera, please? Minister, <laughs> Tinga su yud, mami sarbini. At tokta usi malo mata, nubal nabjo amon. At kigarbin, mami sarbini. Tana mana yo eight nin, nubal nabjo amon. Mana atok bidlutin, amalo seventy nine. Ani gwe si malo tui, tako at take ni bidlu ikanayati katisuin. Kanges ni nami mami sarbini, amalo tapani kaluni amano. Mami Sarvi, Taco, Ekane acting in Atoktausa Mami Mata, Makoni, Novana Dramo, Pio Hasuni, Amalo Mako, Aniguisima in New York City. Terminated Lugo, Mana, to Sirapunga, Amalo, Ekai Tiapunga, Taco, Mami Sarvi, Ekane, Katari Majui, Ilisaka Nikovini, Mapping Amata Ekane, say the Pani. Takonani, Mamis of Victini, terminated Lugu, Tarana, Tarafo, eight six seven nine seven nine eight one two zero, Yukanaya or Mayuno, Tarafo, Tarafo, Doctor Yamatatu. Koyanami. Good morning, especially to Kotitamil. I'm thinking and praying for you at, at this time. I, I would like to provide an update on our healing facilities. Three facilities are impacted due to COVID. Akiyabi Correctional Healing Facility has eight active cases and 79 recoveries with clients and staff combined. Rankin Inlet Healing Facility and Women's Correctional Facility staff have been impacted with two active cases and two recoveries so far. I would like to take this opportunity to call for anyone with correctional training that there are openings in our facilities and encourage that you phone 867-979-8120 if you're interested in working for us. Thank you. Manna, I turn it over to Dr. Patterson. Thank you, Minister. Uh, good morning, everyone. After assessing the outbreak situation across the territory, we will be using public health measures in many communities to allow for larger public gatherings and more visitors in homes. Uh, restaurants and licensed businesses may open uh, in these communities to reduce capacity. These changes will come into effect February 21st. 
on the same day measures in a glue lick will ease allowing for some visiting between houses due to ongoing concerns with community transmission of COVID-19 measures in Arctic Bay, Pangerton, Akalawit, Rankin Inlet, Coral Harbor, Santa Kilowack, Cambridge Bay, Gugarok, Resolute, Talojuak uh, will remain at current levels. Full details on the current restrictions will be available on the GM website at www.gov.nu.ca. Okay. Ulla Sako, Tamako, how is allowed to itaman the sam of Pelia New Yonuna Gumi? Tako is Hasuya Valela to kick between the Malita Galeana, Hanangi to Lerena Mami soon in Nunalini, Amisuna Saikati Hataruna La Hulugi, and Malabula Rati Hataruna Sikulugi. Revit, Emirala Bilo, Materuna La Tut. Hatchina <laughs> Sani kilo ami, ekhalup tuut se ami, kugar jo ami, khau sweet jo ami, talog jo ami, ta ko sum katta jangi tu malita ugali. Atang yap tu ni tu kisya kan ne rumago vita makko akhano malita ugali. Pi jo tu jilu gatu ino yu nuna boga pa makko ni ta ke akhiving ani. www.gov.nu.ca We have also made changes to the way we are conducting contact tracing in an effort to more effectively use health resources. Depending upon the status of COVID-19 in a community, individuals with diagnosed COVID-19 will, in many instances, be asked to notify their own high-risk contacts and only contacts who develop symptoms will be advised to call the hotline for further assessment or testing. High risk contacts are people you have had close contact with two days before you tested positive or started feeling unwell, whichever came first. Examples of high risk contacts include anyone who you have been uh, closer than two meters with for 15 minutes without a mask, anyone who lives with you or has visited or slept at your house in the two days before you felt unwell or had a positive test, anyone you work closely with, anyone you have shared a vehicle with when one or both of you were not wearing a mask. If you are identified as a high-risk contact, please isolate for 10 days regardless of vaccination status. If you develop symptoms, call the hotline for further direction. Uli? Okay. As a justice, I may go to Tamako Hano, Katia Yumini, how is Octavo had done the Amanga, the Tamako, a pillar of Judith, a water of Tauts, a canner of Nahului. Tako Hanui to Pigus Hani, Nunova John of nineteen, Luna Lini, Kiku to in Naina Luna Taus, my Nova John of nineteen, Hamning in Nut. Tako how you care at the early Kiku Nikatia have to me, Manga, the Lorena to me to in the early. Am malutai ko akati yamining ita ko ano yung tukhal katukhaw yung kaktao kaya tukhal ako yao luti ako kung ito mo mas ito mo kaw yung kaktao kaya kani ko maluti. Tako luga na tumingin sa i kati yamining yun tako kati yamining si ulu maku si bungagut naluna tao lang ni nang ni nubajo na tukhal nang ni ubalo kano kano ipalay ko tukhal tumingin yung luti luti narlay tuin na si ulu yun nakan. ตะกอตะเกเมตูกุนนักตูลูกานักตูมินเนสเซนขะตียาวยูมินีนกินาตูนนะฮะนิกิสิมายายตูมีโรสตูงานิ 15 Nuna si umi hati mini tita matamatik matwasi mangi tumini ulusi 
Just a bit more to finish, sorry. Um, finally, as of this week, all Nunavumiat are over the age of five have access to at least two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. This means the full vaccination is available to nearly 90% of our population. I urge everyone to take advantage of this opportunity. The vaccine is our best defense against severe COVID-19 infection. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uli and Dr. Patterson, uh, Premier and the Minister Afiyako. We'll start with questions now, starting with Trevor Wright. Uh, hi there, uh, Trevor Wright, uh, Nunavut News. Um, the uh, release regarding the uh, e eased measures, uh, uh, it says that uh, uh, measures remain the same in Akawa, but it also mentioned that theater in Akawa may be open at 25% capacity. I was just wondering if it, if uh, I guess there's something specific about the theater that's why everything else remains the same. I believe that was uh, an error and will be corrected. Um, there's no um, there's no plans right now to uh, open up any sites of uh, larger gatherings in Akalawit. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, my my follow up is um, I, I was just wondering if we have been doing any genome sequencing since the uh, Omicron has, wave has started, or um, I, I guess uh, what's up with that? Yeah, we continue to send uh, the majority of samples from the labs uh, for uh, whole genome sequencing. And um, of those that are identifiable, more than 90% are uh, the Omicron variant. Thank you. We have Jackie next from CBC, please. Hi, uh, Jackie here. Um, uh, in the Premier's opening statement, he spoke a little bit about rapid tests 
uh, being given out to businesses. Can you give me an example of the businesses uh, that will get these tests and will they be uh, distributing them to the public? uh <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jackie, for the question. Uh, as noted in my opening comments, the rapid access uh, tests right now were distributed in Halloween, uh, starting from February 10, uh, to critical uh, businesses that we see here in the capital. Uh, those being, uh, as examples that I use, uh, taxis, retail uh, food workers, uh, emergency home repair service workers, uh, and then further to that, the communities obviously will get those as well. And we did start uh, immediately in terms of the weekend to start distributing those to the communities as well, uh, to those critical service providers uh, moving forward. Uh, however, in terms of your follow-up, in terms of when to anticipate those for the general public, we are not uh, in a position to to reference in terms of that right now our focus is on the critical businesses that are providing these services uh, but we'll assess that as we move forward so thank you thank you uh my follow-up um can you explain further why you, you you can't say rapid tests uh can't go to the public i think people are confused about how they get a rapid test um in other jurisdictions you can go to an lcbo and, and get a rapid test are there any plans for new to boot that you could be able to go to your northern store and to and just pick up a rapid test um what well, what well, are there plans for rapid tests to go to the public Nanaluna Yaga Kanika and Abubi Summata, what we know in Mangata Suliki could win Nanum. Nalula Sima Matama Koki could win a Hanapiguna Manga, Mirakun, or how is up to Saudi, you know, to no solo Halunani. Imeluta been the exit to the Hatta Nanga, the house of the good in it. And as Magisi, so Luna the Minu will be the exit to the Hatta with Saugun Nasiga Yamanga, Kiku to Nam. Now, Koyanami, Jackie Tan, Apocotia kimiku <laughs> Thanks again, uh, Jackie, for the, the follow-up. I, I think we all understand the importance and 
the reason why we focus so heavily in terms of the critical service providers is exactly that. They provide such critical services to keeping our communities safe. Uh, and we have to, as Dr. Patterson indicated, to really look at the service providers to be the frontline workers. Uh, so that's why we've really prioritized them in terms of providing those uh, rapid access. Uh, we are in discussions with the retailers and uh, in terms of the broader plan. Uh, so with that, we'll continue to, to monitor and work around uh, providing those rats to the community members. And if there's any new developments, uh, we'll ensure we share through the, the channels here. Thank you. Um, the next person on the list is Emma, I believe. Oh, sorry, Matisse Harvey. Yeah, uh, Matisse Harvey, Radio Canada. Um, I believe my question is for um, the Premier as well. It's a follow up on Jackie's questions. Um, so my understanding from the Canadian government website is that just over 60,000 um, tests have been sent to Nunavut. Can you be a little bit more specific and tell us how many tests Nunavut received? and the number being rolled out by a community. Um, Uri, I didn't know I could not Just one second, we'll have Uli do the translation. Um, Uli's having uh, technical issues, Premier, but what her computer is just restarting. Okay. No, I just uh, interpreted the, the question. Uh, thank you, Matisse, for the follow-up uh, in terms of that. I don't have the, the information in front of me right now in terms of the breakdown to, um, uh, uh, in terms of the numbers that we've received from the federal government. So I will commit to, to bring that forward uh, once I do have those informations in front of me right now. Thank you. We'll go to Melanie next. Oh, I have a follow up. Go ahead, Matisse. Yeah, um, so some southern jurisdictions have uh, started to receive the um, uh, shipments of the Paxlovid, the antiviral COVID-19 uh, drug. I was wondering when is Nunavut going to receive some um, and you, if you know how many uh, doses that represent and if you have an idea of the rollout. Uh, uh, apologies, Premier. It doesn't look like we we have Uli on yet. Perhaps you can just respond to the question in an institute at the moment instead of interpreting it. I believe that's uh, to be fair to our our institute speakers. We should wait for Uli, um, and I think that's a Dr. Patterson question uh, that I'll forward over to him. But I really feel we need to bring in Uli to provide the the interpreting um, to be consistent. Thank you, Uli. We're still waiting. Interest, in the interest of time, um, maybe I'll pass the floor over to Dr. Patterson. I think that was a question uh, he could provide a response to. 
Thank you, Premier. Certainly. Uh, thanks, Premier. Um, at, uh, I think about two, maybe three weeks ago, uh, Nunavut received enough of the Paxlovid to uh, uh, provide courses of treatment for 100 people. Um, I know that it's been used at least two or three times, um, but I'm not certain beyond that. Uh, currently, it's available in uh, uh, certainly in Cambridge Bay, Rankin Inlet, and Iqaluit. Um, and as more becomes available, uh, it will be made available in other communities. Thanks. Um, thank you. Unfortunately, we do not have Uli. Um, so there's two ways that we can proceed. Uh, we are at 1136. We can we can uh, pause for a moment. Uh, it looks like she's still trying to get on. She, I believe, is almost uh, able to reconnect. Uh, and if we don't get her back, we might have to stop short in order to respect um, all minimal mute, including those who speak in the two. One second. Willie, I see you on the list. Are you with us again? Uli, can you hear me? Uli, if you are with us, uh, please turn on your camera. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Patterson, if you don't mind restating your answer, and then Uli can pick up, uh, continue from that point on. Okay, thank you. Uh, so Nunavut has received um, enough Paxlovid doses for uh, the treatment of uh, 100 individuals. Um, the initial plan was to uh, have uh, Paxlovid distributed in uh, Iqaluit, Rankin Inlet, and Cambridge Bay, um, and then spread out to other communities from there. Um, Last that I heard, there were at least two or three individuals who have uh, received Paxlovid for COVID-19 infection. Thank you. Mumiana, Nakwago, 100 made in me good ticket to Sumalok to Takunua. Tamani, Sam of Tahatanga, Tehalo, Nikan, Sino, Mehalo, to Sam, Milununa, Lino, Tahatala, to take Tako, Inuri, South, Inu, Act, Love and Mubala, Yamako, being as they make to the age of half a dozen of the day. All right, uh, I believe we have Melanie next. Hey, yeah, my questions are for Dr. Patterson. Um, I'm wondering how can you like reassure residents who think it's maybe too early to ease restrictions and are worried and maybe scared about what that will do to the spread in their communities? Dana Melanie Risho, Luta Patterson, Ohale Magaka in Naru Naru Visum Matakois, Hasuyao Gerd Nerak Tauti Lulu Malik Taugali. Uh, thanks, Melanie. Um, for for those who are uh, are concerned about this, um, we are uh, uh, continuing to to monitor the situation, and and if things even over the next few days, if things change. Uh, significantly, 
we can um, change the plans uh, as and when needed. And um, for those communities that have uh, COVID-19, if either next week or anywhere afterwards, if things change suddenly, um, again, we can alter the measures um, as we did in, in Aglulik. Um, we will continue in all communities to uh, monitor testing and uh, uptake, which will uh, inform what inform us as to what the appropriate public health measures are. That was almost too long. Yeah. Take no esumalu to no tamako, Mitsan, no matuto, Palia, Sarai long, you tamako, Taman, how is a Palian in the Langayabu? Hanu Palian in a Uluga long afternoon. As a jock to hang the Katamako, as a jock to a young Yutako, Malikto, who yells my Yuta, my Yahota. They could only lean on a new one during the solo pinasa was so loud to me, Tamako, as a jock to hang the Katako, Malito Gali, as a jock to a young Yuta, my chain now. Iglulik mita yung may lawat ta. Kawis sa palyang ina hatalang alo talunu ba juan ato hal palyalang mga ta ko ato lugi ta ko malit ta hatalang ayasit jak ta guti uluti malit ta piyas mayon eh. The other thing to remember for individuals who who are concerned, um, wearing masks, uh, getting vaccinated, and keeping your bubbles as small as as you can. Are, are still important protections that everyone can uh, maintain for themselves. Thank you. 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 Um, and Dr. Patterson, you said more than 90% of those samples that were sent for genome sequencing have come back as the Omicron variant. Can you just confirm or clarify what those other 10% are, please? Sure, there's still a small number that are coming back as a uh, Delta variant, uh, mostly in uh, Akalawit and Pangertong, if I remember correctly. Thank you. Thank you. We have Emma Cantor next. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm not sure who this question is for, but I'm wondering why rapid tests weren't a priority to be sent to schools and how the decision was made to send them to businesses instead of to schools. I'm a Toronto Canadian press community. So thank you, uh, Emma, for the, the question. Uh, I'll defer that over to Dr. Patterson in terms of uh, looking at um, target areas are. Uh, we've been working with the departments to highlight areas where uh, there's importance placed. 
Uh, so those critical services is obviously something we consult Dr. Patterson. So perhaps if I could get Dr. Patterson to elaborate on that. Thank you. Thank you, Premier. The um, um, the general consensus was that uh, maintaining critical services like airports, uh, cargo to get food in, uh, water and sewer delivery, um, if we had widespread outbreaks in those services, um, that would have a greater input uh, impact on communities than uh, schools. Although schools are um, uh, the next priority after some of these uh, other services. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we're going to go to Jackie next. I have a follow up. Go ahead. Thank you. This is for the Justice Minister. You mentioned that. Corrections is looking to hire people with correctional experience given the outbreaks. Can you explain to us how many staff in our correctional facilities have COVID-19? Yes, thank you. As part of my update for for clarification, uh, for further clarification, Rankin Inlet and the Women's Correctional Center both were, uh, as I mentioned, staff. As for the Akiyakvik uh, Correctional Healing Facility, there are seven active and 36 recovered from, from our staff. Thank you. Thank you. Just a, a quick note, there is a updates coming on the distribution of the rapid access tests uh, in the short uh, short little while, so we'll make that available to all the reporters uh, and a breakdown of where to go. So expect that in your inboxes very soon, reporters. And for the last question, I have Jackie. Um, Uh, Jackie CBC. Um, Dr. Patterson, I'm hoping you can uh, further explain uh, the easing of restrictions in some communities and not others. What, what's the threshold um, for opening some places up and not others? Like what would exactly would it take for us to get to a place where we have the least amount of restrictions in all Nunavut communities? Jackie, CBC, Kuniluta, Harrison, Naluna, Yakanikin, Naruna, 
Taikko hassu ja uudelleen, niin Anna Hannan itto oli enemmän malittaukia, eli kissumi kirlehammangaata. Summa taikko ilangi matuita, ka ilangi matuita, tinnaki tämä, niin nuna kun me hanuilinga kiakaa ja jakkaa tamakkoa iluna, niin hassu ja uudelleen, kun nähdään sekollukin. Uh, it's a combination of things. We're looking at the um, the number of people that have COVID-19, um, how fast it's uh, spreading, uh, or has how fast the numbers have changed in the, the previous week or so, um, the number of households that are involved, and uh, the workload that uh, staff in the community are, are reporting um, those all affect our uh, decisions on whether to whether or not to ease measures, and we'll be reassessing them every week or two moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm uh, also. Hold on, hold oh, on, sorry, Jackie. Sorry, Lee. Interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see. Tak wajib lagi untuk kita cuci hati ini. Inu baju anak tahu semua yud. Kanu tiga lalu taman nasukat demi siang mapalaya nahl semua mangga. Kanu luas sejak palaya hatta mangga sukat demi pina sahur siula demi hati siula orang ini tak. Kau yang sakti hatta langam bayam balu hati siulu mian hati siang mabius semua mangga ada. Kanu tiga lalu pihat sahur mangga ada. Nuna lini tak kau lalu nanti kita tahu lodi. Nalun yang sangat terutama langgan yang malik tahu gaya ini pina sahaja kos ya tahu simak kau luna gaya pati tak kau nalun yang tahu gaya ila asyik jauh tahu hatta mana asyik. I apologize, Uli. I should know better. Um, my next question was, um, everywhere else in the country, people have access to uh COVID tests for traveling. Um, why can't Nunavut have uh, access to travel COVID testing in territory? All right, Jackie, I'm used to it. Then, Tama, Nami, do it now. Canada, me, Tama, go and over join up 19. How is that with the Hatsia Hatanga? How long they have to know some Malitamani, Nunavum, me, at Pinangila? Uh, Jackie, do you mean the rapid antigen tests? Uh, we are handing those out at airports um, for travelers to try and reduce the frequency of introduction into uh, other communities. Thank you. Um, sorry, Dr. Patterson, just to clarify, um, my question was more about uh, when uh, for, if you need a test to travel to get into another country, um, currently Nunavut is not providing access to people who need those testings for travel requirements. Can you explain why that's not provided? Uh, thanks. There's a, a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, travel, international travel is almost always uh, elective or non-essential and is not covered by Medicare. Um, and uh, most Canadians have to get those through uh, private labs. And the other reason is simply timing. Those uh, jurisdictions typically require results uh, no less than 72 hours from arrival. And uh, in most communities, we cannot meet that turnaround time for uh, PCR tests. So uh, Nunavumia who are traveling internationally are better served by getting the tests completed uh, through a private lab in the South. Thank you. Okay. 
Tinggal balu aksi mangga yang ni ini nuta mak suruh seven itu ikat gay si bung aku pikir mak hatang ada ulah tu hang nak tidur. Taman nuna bumi nuna lini hang mati guna ngici aga yang tu nuta mak ulah tidur hatang aga hang ni ini nuta mak nuna bumi. Tapi memang nuta aku akan nasi tak ulah nak tuin. Kalau nuna ini emi ko hang isa bini tu cera hatang kulugi. Thank you so much, uh, Uli and Dr. Madison. I think we have time for one more question. Um, so I'll, I believe Matisse is the next person in line. Um, yes, thank you. Um, my question, I believe, is for Minister Main. Um, so since last week, residents of uh, Ihalwit have to show a proof of vaccination to access uh, city's facilities. I'm just wondering if you're planning to kind of ha harmonize with the cities, um, the city of Ihalwit and impose vaccine mandates at a territorial level. Um, and I'd like to know where are we at in terms of uh, vaccine passports? Minister Main, ma pick up thing. Ah, that go. Ah, pinasa ako si Ujo Jomi. Pigay ay matanam tamak ko ay halum mi unal unal sa katag ay hasu. Tika pigay ay usman ng mene ita ko si di ko ilog joangin no nunali pa ay ko pili ribingin no isu konda hoti. Tama ni ita ay matay na nunabu mi pam na si mabita ay matay na si di ko ngiti ay halum ni ita ko ay pigay ay usman ngay halag ay kuya na mo tama ni nunabu mi. Iya, amat na perigabit. Hibur lepas kita nak kopi jauh, mak aku ini yang mud. Icang na aku nud. Pekoyak. Ika yok tu cak lugu. Nenek lipau yak kur. Hak kita hima yang ika yok tu cak lugu. Aku ada ham lagi jauh yu ahingit. Aku biar ini kengak sini yang kemanit tu amil lugu. Ika yok tu cak lugu. Hak kita hima mata si tu mik. Uba gud nang mina kamu mak ku bluta. Hakai nak mengapa kamu makut tidak kau ingin memilih begin bincang nak tunut kapi jauh hima jaga kau tahu nak tunik atau kau hakak memang itu tempat tuminga apa kau tiga nak nik pilih nak tunut lu pilih nak tunut dah neng ni gua mat ubud ane akan lagi tu lagi ku berda hakai hima itu apa mana uyo Gabu maku ilu ani, teman no mat. Thank you for your question. And first of all, I I fully support the city of Ekaluit's vaccine mandate, and I commend them for bringing that forward, as well as the other hamlets in Nunavut, hamlet of Akwiat, hamlet of Baker Lake, and Rankin Inlet, who have brought in vaccine mandates for entry into their facilities. We currently don't have any plans to introduce a van vaccine mandate uh, for entry into any government facilities I, I, that I know of. In terms of uh, mandating vaccines for employment, uh, the Department of Health has a vaccine mandate in place for our staff. As of yet, we are the uh, sole department to have this uh, implemented. What now? Thank you so much, uh, Minister Main. And uh, once again, I wanted to thank Uli. We saw today for a few minutes what happens when we don't have Uli interpreting for us. She's critical to the operation. So thanks again for, for being here and rescuing us. Um, we are at noon. Uh, so today's uh, media conference is has been concluded. Um, I just wanted to make a quick correction. There was a note in today's uh, media release about the uh, theaters uh, being 
open, the Egalit theater is not open. So that correction is coming. Uh, as I mentioned before, more information on the rapid access test distribution will be coming to the journalists. So look for that in your inbox. Uh, and uh, we will have our next uh, COVID-19 press conference next Tuesday at 11 a.m. The format is not yet determined, so there'll be some information on whether we will have another Zoom uh, media conference or if we were going to return uh, to the chambers. Thank you. And Uli will conclude. <laughs> Akiya <laughs> 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 <